Welcome in Wild Card Wednesday. It's Elizabeth, True to It Connections. I am so glad you're here growing with us. Like, subscribe, drop us a comment about what you want to see, what you need more of, what your questions are. We're here for you. Join our monthly lives. We give away free readings. And we are available for private readings. All right. On with this, I never want to waste your time. There will be timestamps so you can easily navigate these messages. I'm sure there will be something for each of you. Now, underneath these, let's say one, two, three Oracle decks. I have shuffled and cleared the energy so that you can connect. This can be a lot for you. Take what means the most, leave behind the rest. Again, this will be one, two, three. I'm going to clarify with tarot cards, and then I'm going to drop a rune in there to make it all fit like a puzzle. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, making room for one. Here we go. Don't peek. All right, underneath group one, this is the past life deck. So we're going to dig into some of the energy around you that we need to talk about. Maybe you need to think about, clear what's happening. One just flipped over for me. 37, 10. This tells me in a past life you have felt very imprisoned very obviously caged up, okay? Tens can be obviously about endings. There's a lot of disruption going on where you feel very stuck. It's not quite where things have ended and it's not really where you're starting to begin. Um, I would say those of you connecting with this deck have been on the struggle bus since you were younger um, and just really trapped in a situation that you've never known how to grow through. All right, let's pull a few more. Yep, <clears throat> there's a deep secret here. Uh, this is a lot of the shadow work that has to be done about what kept you silent. You have a fear of speaking the truth. You have a fear of change and conflict. You'd rather almost stay trapped. So this is something that really has to be thought about. I believe that intuitively you know the key to get out. You know where it is, you know, but there's so many secrets within you you're finding it hard to really express yourself and get to the truth of it. And there we go from 38, that becomes 11. This is a lot like um, just spinning. You can really be intuitive. Number 11, the master number of the great intuitive, the mastermind, uh, very much mercury energy here very much uh, Scorpio, Plutonic energy going on here. And instead of using your intuition, you're trapped down deep and it keeps you spinning. But I know intuitively you know what to do. So I am going to pull White Sage Tarot for you guys just to clarify how you can move forward. Stop the monkey mind. Let's reveal some of the secrets that are here. Let's go this way. Ace of Pentacles. Now, I want you to understand, or you realize, if I ground myself, if I really, really, really tap into my third eye, I am going to be able to start a new foundation 
Some of you, this is about what you want to do for work, but you cannot accomplish anything right now without this new beginning and freeing yourself. Another new beginning, Page of Cups. I urge you, group one, to find someone that you really trust that you can share these messages with. That one person that you can say, I was wounded when, and, and whatever it is, you need that support, you need that person, you need that love. Some of you, I feel this has to do with your children, and maybe even that they need to speak to you about this. Um, that's a separate message for some of you. Back to those who really need sharing your innermost secrets will free you and it'll alleviate your mind, but it must be with someone you can absolutely trust. There you go, three of pentacles. You need this support. You need to be able to communicate about this to stop the spin and to stop overthinking, then no matter what you're asking me about, you will find abundance, you will find support, you will find this beautiful trinity of, of divine guidance, actually is what I wanna say, by following your intuition when you have released these wounds abundance will come slowly and surely it will come now i also want to pull a rune for you guys so that you understand these first steps just make a list of your wounds what held you back what has you up in your mind and i know finding that one person to share these wounds with that you trust, that you can just tell this to, no feedback, no judgment, they just listen. And we will put this right here where you can see it. Now it's been a while since I've used runes, so I am gonna look up, I believe this is Barak, Bar Bar Baraka, hold up. One minute, Birkenau. The rune of the birch tree, the power of new growth. Sorry, they're a little cricket. My OCD is coming out. This is about change. Remember, we spoke of that. It's about rituals. Now, rituals can be anything. What I want you to do is something where you feel supported and in an environment of trust where you can speak about these traumas. This is about fertility. This is about growth, new re renewal, new beginnings, and promise. It relates to water. It's the cancer sign. Group one, we are in cancer season. Happy birthday to many, many, many of you. In Tarot, it's a high priestess. Number 11 becomes two, the high priestess, that master intuitive. But you can't get there until you stop the spin and you're going to need to release these secrets to let that happen. And it's time when you see Burkana to concentrate on nourishment, healing, and growth. Be careful of not taking care of yourself. This is a good time to start new projects, new relationships, and also that you start new once you release and just express the wounds and traumas that held you back you will find a new sense of freedom i love you guys let me know what you think don't peek at these other ones there are time stamps keep going with me drop a comment let me know what resonated with you and other types of readings you'd like to see from me all right, love you. Let's keep going. All right, group two. What do we have here? I don't even remember what I put under. All right, there we go. Group two, make things happen. 
Ah, you have the Alchemy Oracle deck. So let's see what's in store for you. Again, group two, I'm gonna clarify with tarot cards and a rune. So this will go quickly. Be sure to check out some of the other messages and do, do not forget to like, comment, let me know what you think, what resonates, what else you'd like to see. Can't believe it, y'all. I keep getting Cancerian energy, the chariot, seven, the soldier, I want you to understand this talks about your life energy number. Many of you may know that. Um, for a private reading, uh, deeply rooted in numerology, definitely connect with me. There will be information in the description box. But um, I want you to know in a past life you may have actually been a soldier. The leader type of soldier, though, that never really truly gives up, that has that motivation to move forward, that has a certain sort of balance. And also, I do believe that sevens are divinely connected. You're very intuitive. I believe also you get angelic communications, downloads when you least expect it. And I would expect that to be very heightened right now. Ten, the wheel. So you are moving forward fast, big time energy here to a new beginning, the butterfly as you can see, you're coming out of that cocoon and ready to grow, grow. Tens, yes endings, yes beginnings, but 10 is a number itself and a lot of times there is a lot of uh, past life energy that needs to be worked through childhood traumas and things like that that need to be addressed that aren't always difficult it's like giving birth to that new beginning it can be painful so i want you to understand that you are divinely guided through this this feels major uh, many of you may relate to the magician card also as i bring that down to a one because of the sense of the butterfly. Now, soul's purpose, five. This is about the year you're in right now, those relating to group two. This is a year, yes, of change, of chaos. I said none of this would be easy, but you are soldiering through it, and I, I just applaud you for that. Many of you are dealing with um, soul contracts that are... They're lifetime soul contracts. I want you to understand that. I want you to understand there may be endings. Just because you have soul contracts with people, they do change. They do end, and there are new beginnings. So whether this is about work, relationships, you were meant to be on this path, but there is a new path coming. And I know that you will absolutely float through this difficult situation it'll you'll soldier through and then you're going to fly and i know that you will find not only your soul connections but your purpose and if you're not there yet hang on this year is really big for you now i'm also going to clarify with white sage tarot for you um we have to pay attention to the chakras involved as well. Sometimes I get them wrong. Yeah, we all make mistakes. Generally, though, I don't find them as mistakes. <laughs> I find them as my intuitive self. Lovers. I'm going to start here. Six. This is about as you soldier through this change. Number one, there's going to be a lot of decisions. Number two. Uh, this is about striking a balance. Chariot has a very yin and yang energy to it. This is about striking a balance. This is about making those decisions to set yourself free, to recognize what your soul purpose is. These are big energies, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly and... Eight of Wands. 
this is where you feel in your sacral chakra that you're putting the work in you're waiting for this balance it is also about balance but i believe you do not feel there has been the give and take that you need and that is why you want to be set free whether this is love or work there are decisions to be made and i see where you want to be set free all right next flew out for me ten of cups ten ten this is telling me let your emotions your balanced emotions guide you because intuitively you are on your soul's path you are ending something soldiering through it floating off now like a butterfly you're going to have to communicate about this your emotions will be all up in finding this new path but it is infinitely good for all of your chakras to do this also also, also, on the bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Intuitively, you know you have to move away from something. Group two, I didn't do that for the other one. I just needed to do that for you. There's a message of setting yourself free. Okay? I'll leave that there. Now, I am pulling a rune for you guys. We're just going to randomly see what comes up likely going to fit like a puzzle. Look at that. Look at that. The wheel, the time. Now, I haven't used the runes in a bit, so I am going to refer to the actual card, make sure I get everything right, but do you see what I'm saying? Let me put it right there. This move, this change is your purpose, and it's meant to be and I can't wait to tell you what this is. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Where are you? It's hiding. It's going to be the last one. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I know you're hearing me go through these cards. Ah, Degas. Rune of Daytime. The power. Are you ready? The power of endings and beginnings. What could be more clear here? Whew, it is about change. This is so much. You guys got to watch each group. This is about clarity, the awakening, I am telling you. The awareness, the transformation, the movement, the action, the realization. This represents an air sign, half moon in astrology. We are moving towards that. So I want you to pay attention to that. And to recognize it is time for changes. To focus on the positive. Meditation is helpful during this time of transformation. Many of you are going to say, well, I don't, I can, I don't, I don't like. I encourage you to start by walking. Anything like that that you can do to get out of your mind. Put on some music and dance. There is a m movement ahead. Movement ahead for a new soul path with infinite possibilities. Let's go. Group two, like, drop me a comment. Let me know what's happening, what made sense to you. And I'm so grateful. Come on, let's go to group three and see what is there for all of us. All right, here we go. Okay, Whoop. group three. Hi, welcome in. Here we go. Appreciate you checking this out, group three. This is, what are they thinking? Upside down, sorry about that. All right, here we go, you guys. What are they thinking? Those of you connecting with group three, this is gonna be more relationship-based. Group one and two had a lot in common, though. I encourage you to check that out. Time stamps in the description and comment. And just know, really love you for being here. I love you. If you're here to question about what's going on, there's love. All right, let's keep going. What are they thinking? These are available also on my link tree. 
I'm not worth it, but I'm perfect. Wow. Whether you feel this way or they do, these cards I created are to help you have those hard conversations even when you're not sure you should. I do encourage you guys to uh, only have these communications and conversations when you're in a safe environment. Nothing toxic is happening. All right. This person loves you. They're not perfect, obviously, and they need a lot of alone time. Make sense to anybody out there? So whatever you're going through that feels rocky, that you, ha you feel like you have to explain yourself, that's okay, and I'm really sorry about the lawn people. Oh my goodness, they just know when I'm doing this. But we're gonna keep going because when I'm in the flow and we're connecting, we are not stopping. Thank you for your patience and understanding. There's a lot going around in this part of my world. All right, so I know you guys can understand when, you know, we get moody. <clears throat> Here he comes again. Oh, my goodness. He's literally mowing a sidewalk, you guys. Okay, here we're back. I don't want to stop. Really sorry, because this is important. This is somebody who just gets a little moody. And what I was trying to say, I have an autoimmune disorder, Hashimoto's. I can get moody. I can have a really hard time. And I want people in my life to love me and know that I'm, I'm worth it. I'm not perfect. Yes, I'm going to have moods and need alone time. Who doesn't? If you don't, drop me a comment. If you're that person who's just never needs alone time, I want to know how you do it. Um, and if you don't get alone time and you need it, I want to know about it. All right, so we're going to clarify now with White Sage Tarot flying out at me. Page of Pentacles. I love you. This is messages of love coming in. Many of you, this may be someone a little bit younger. Could even be a child that we're talking about, but definitely messages of beautiful love. Uh, this is in your solar plex chakra and even your heart chakra. But I want you to know it's full of love and offering and balance and loyalty no matter what. All right, here we go. The Empress. The Empress. I feel the need to tell you guys the Empress can be all about love and beauty and cooperation with that three. There is the sense of trying to be perfect all the time. This beautiful, amazing Venus that we all just look up to in the skies and in the cards, how beautiful they're always represented that they can lead and they're just so perfect but no with that comes a lot of anxiety control issues um trying to control everything and really needing a break you can't do it all alone that's even though you need alone time you cannot do this all alone you will snap and in this, I see also the need to talk about it. Throat chakra, okay? Four of cups. This is where, you know, it's like too much. And that's where you need alone time. Your cup is overflowing, not with abundance, but with burdens and responsibilities that don't belong to you. You have to relinquish some control. You can love everyone and do all this work, but feel a little sad and used and abused about it. So, yeah, fours are about balance. Fours are about power and leadership. But you're getting tired of being the leader, the leader, the leader, the leader of every 
buddy. So if you need a little alone time, take it. Because you're loved. This, the people in your life are loyal. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. I didn't do this for group one. I'm sorry, but it got on a roll here. So I hope uh, you guys watch one, two, and three. Queen of Cups. Again, leading, 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 leading. But oh my gosh, do you want to float away and go to a spa, have a nice cup of coffee and tea, and just say bye for a little bit? I love you. You're wonderful people. Good job, guys. But I'm going to float away for a hot minute. <laughs> I need a break. I encourage you guys, group three, to take it. Take that break. I'm pulling her in for you now. Okay, this one. I got to make sure exactly because I haven't used the runes in a while. And this looks an awful like, like another rune. So let's be very careful how we pick this. And just let me look for it real quick, you guys. It's been a hot minute since I used the runes. Do be sure to check one and two because I think the... The readings and messages are so cool. They definitely come together like a puzzle. And I feel there's messages for each of us to take away. Okay, this is Iwas. Whoop. Iwas. I want to be sure I turn it the right way. I believe it goes a bit like that. Rune of the Yew Tree. Power of Immortality protection nourishing i want you to nourish yourself as well as everybody else but my goodness take care of yourself there is a sense of um reminiscing anticipating but you don't know how to get there till you take a break because you're overwhelmed i promise you in tarot this represents the death card so in the sense of Endings and beginnings, releasing burdens, chains, chains that bind you, responsibilities that do not belong to you, no matter, empress, emperor, <laughs> queen, you are such a strong leader, but you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. And I want you to understand in astrology, this rep represents Scorpio. So you're going to feel deep in your emotions and need a break so that you can balance your emotions. And it's time to accept the endings and beginnings of things. Okay? And as a leader, as you go through these trials and tribulations, you're going to need a little alone time or this is going to overflow. I want you to look to magical enlightenment for protection and a new path. That is key here with the rune of the yew, the yew tree. This is a symbol of a long living tree with wood that was used for making bows. So you are the tree here. You are the protector. You are doing everything. And I know there's messages of love coming into you. You just have to process everything it's been a bit overwhelming this it was it's known as a tree of life and death and was often planted near cemeteries so some of you going through those emotions please understand with that you're going to need a little alone time too but i want you to know like all things this too shall pass and Thank you so much for being here. We all at The Spiritual View appreciate it. We're here for you. And we encourage you to keep following us. And please keep commenting so we can bring you more of what you'd really like to see. All right. Peace. And I will catch you guys on the next one.